You know, there's so many people out there with great clothing line ideas. And the thing is, is that, you know, they dream up these ideas and they want to execute them. The problem is most people don't know what it entails to actually go forward and create these clothing lines. They see on television, you know, the photo shoots and the red carpets, but they don't understand the work that goes behind it. The question is, are you prepared to take on all that there is that comes along with the job of creating a clothing line? Let's discuss next here on Making the Brand. What's up, everybody? This is Rob Norman from Planet Brooklyn Academy, and this is Making the Brand, the series where I give you insight and a little knowledge on how to create a clothing line, and if you already have one, how to make it better. As always, before we jump into things, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything we drop when it drops. So what goes into creating a clothing line? The thing is, is that a lot of people with great ideas, or as I said before, not just for clothing ideas, just creating a business in general, people have great ideas, but they don't really understand what goes into creating it. You know, it's great to do the photo shoots, it's great to come up with the ideas, but are you built to actually run in a clothing company? What you have to understand is that there is so much more to just having a great idea. I've been doing this for years. My clothing line alone, I've been doing this for years. And what you have to understand is that I am married to this. What I do creatively is one thing, but the blood, sweat, and tears that go into it is really what makes things pay off. Now, I personally, I sleep maybe four hours a day. That's why you see these bags under my eyes. Because I, if I'm not working on my line designing, I'm shooting these videos. If I'm not doing that, I'm at my store making sure product is out, seeing what we need new, making sure my staff is well equipped with everything they need. And if not, if not that, I'm also working on new collabs with different clients, sitting down meeting with them. I have to talk with my factories. I got to answer emails. And then on top of that, I teach this at, you know, at the Fashion Institute of Technology. So I'm constantly moving around, but I'm always working behind the scenes to keep my brand going. So there is never any time to rest. And you have to understand, if you come up with an idea and you really want to do this, you have to understand, you have to make certain sacrifices for this brand because this brand is essentially your baby and you can't abandon a baby and you can't be a sometime parent. If you're going to do this, you got to be an all-time parent. So that means you're always thinking about this. This, as I work on my line all the time, this is what I think about 24 seven. There are some days I don't leave my house for five days. Now I'm talking about pre-pandemic. You know, I'm sitting home for five days straight just working. And sometimes I can't go out. You know, my friends wanna hang out, I can't do that. I have to work on the things I need to do because there are deadlines I have to meet. There are things that have to go out the next day. There are things I fell behind because I was working on, you know, different projects. So I have to take that all into account. And you have to think about that. If you're gonna start a clothing line, you have to understand, are you willing to sacrifice your time, the relationships you have with your friends and family? Are you willing to go that extra mile? You know, sometimes you can't buy the extra pair of shoes you want to get because you need to use that money to finance something else for your brand. You may have to run ads and that costs money. So you know what? I may not eat that sushi I wanted to order today. I may have to just make an egg sandwich just so I can get by on that. These are things that a lot of people don't consider or think about as they go into the business. They just think that, hey, I have a great idea. A lot of my friends like what I have and I've shown it around and people think I should do it. And yeah, it's a great idea. But the problem is, is that we could all run a race. Not everybody's going to win the race. And not all of us are going to be champions. And we have to accept the fact that if we're not really going to put in the work to become a champion, then maybe this isn't something that we should really do. Maybe it's just a hobby. You know, you make a few t-shirts, you sell them here and there, and that's fine. But if you really want to make this a clothing company, you want to make this a legit brand, that means it's going to take work, a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, a lot of tears. Believe me, there are many days that I have gotten up and didn't want to do this anymore. I literally wanted to give up because it was so much work and just I was at my wit's end. I got tired. And then I realized, hey, I put in all this work. Am I really ready to give up? So I kept pushing. And I haven't made it to where I'm at now without 
giving up a lot and sacrificing a lot. I'm still not where I wanna be with my brand. My brand is still have not reached its peak, but I've seen success along the way. And you're gonna see a lot of failures as well. Again, I got burnt out at one time when I first started in the fashion industry. I got burnt out, I left fashion, totally, for about three years, I left. And I went into sports entertainment. So I was designing over there, working with the Knicks and the Rangers, designing stuff for them. And then finally, I ended up coming back into fashion. And once I came back, I felt kind of, you know, renewed. And I had a different perspective on things. So I came in ready to work again. But I had to step away for it for a minute. And sometimes it's something you have to do. Sometimes you have to, you know, step away, recalibrate, you know, resituate your mind, and then get back right into that mind frame of what you want to do. And then I came back, and I've been in it ever since, and running strong. So when you're coming into this, make a checklist of the things you want to accomplish, and then also think about the things that it's going to take to get to that point. And be realistic with yourself. Understand that if you don't really want to sacrifice, and you really don't want to give up your weekends, and you don't really want to give up your trips and vacations, because when I went on vacation, many times I had to spend hours just working. And trust me, I had fun, but I had late at night when, you know, friends were asleep, I had to open up my laptop and do work. So there's never a vacation when you have your own clothing brand or any, or your own company. You're always working. And understand that it's easier to work for a company and get a check and enjoy your vacations and get your time off and you know that you don't have to worry about anything. And that's fine. Some people are built for that. But if you really want your own thing, you're gonna to have to understand that all that easiness that you've had for working for someone else goes away. You're gonna to have to work hard to make your dreams a success. And trust me, as much as I may say that this is the dark side of it, it's something that I accept because I actually love it. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's mine. And I get to do what I want with it. I create what I want. No one else tells me what to create. I love that. And that's why I say I'm willing to, you know, give up everything else for this because at the end of the day, it's mine and I love it. It's the same way you have a child. No matter what you sacrifice and give up for your child, at the end of the day, you love your child and you'll do anything for them. And that's how I feel about my brand. And that's how you should feel about your brand if this is something you want to do. So keep that in mind. You know, I just wanted to reach out to you guys this week and not so much talk about the intricacies of fashion, but more so about the dedication it takes to create a brand. Because before you go through all these videos that I've put out talking about the different nuances of fashion and how to create your brand, you really kind of need to know, is this something you really want to get into? And this is why I wanted to make this video for you guys. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if this resonated with you guys, please leave a a like and also leave your comments in the uh, comment section below and again we make new videos every monday and wednesday so until next time i catch you guys later peace